Hello YouTube, Slacker Stacker here, and welcome to f One Year Full Stack Review Part 3. And I know I'm long overdue in making this, guys. I'm sorry, I've just been really busy. Uh, so, let's get into this. It's going to be fairly short. I don't have a whole lot. Like I said, I'm really going to showcase the copper, because I do like copper, and I do stack copper. Um, and then uh, pieces that don't really figure into the stack, because I don't. they're not... I don't know their silver content or they're in a uh, denomination or something that doesn't really figure into a standard dollar amount. And uh, now I do have a little splash of gold that's included in here too. And of course, very special pieces uh, that uh, have been gifts or are very, that are very special to me. So, uh, first off, I've got uh, 36 ounces of copper bars. Now, I was young. <laughs> it was when I first started doing all of this is when I got the copper because, you know, to me, copper is a precious metal. And I do love the look of it. I mean, to me, it's beautiful. So I did pick up some copper, but really, that's the only stuff that I, I really went out and bought as far as like a bullion type thing is, uh, well, I did get some rounds, but you'll see in a minute why I did that. But yeah, this may have been a mistake, but I don't regret doing it. I mean, it's it's pretty. Uh, you've seen these uh, silver ones before. Oh, and I mean, and, and, and pieces that mean a lot to me. Okay, now this is a uh, Canadian coin. I don't think there's any silver in it, but uh, it is a war memorial uh, coin. Uh, this was sent to me by uh, uh, Tomoko Enterprises Dean. Uh, this he sent me a memory of his father he was honoring his father here and so this is a special piece it's in the original mint packaging it will never come out of the uh, mint packaging and uh, it will it will always stay with me because it was it was meaningful to Dean which makes it meaningful to me and uh, so there it will stay and uh, this is that uh, 1780 remake of the and if I try to say it, I'm going to get slammed for it because I never can pronounce it. It's the uh, Teresa. Oh, let me see. It was the. I can't pronounce Thanner or Thanner, something like that. But anyway, I thought it was a really cool coin. And this one is silver. I mean, I, I do believe that's 80% from what uh, Mike tells me. And then, of course, these are the. Uh, the forelin and half crown that uh, backyard bullion sent me, and then here is an 80% uh, canoe dollar from Canada. Again, they don't really have dollar amounts that I can translate into a face value. Uh, then we can get into some of the copper that's here. This actually was part of a trade. Uh, I believe it was from Hippie. Uh, I can't remember. It was, it was quite a while ago, but basically come and take it you know talking about be having the right to bear arms and such uh, really cool cool round there uh, and then I got the of course the four horsemen's uh, the the conquest I believe that's the conquest uh, is that the, the war uh, famine and then death so I got all four of the copper rounds to match all four of the silver rounds uh, in the set uh, I, I intentionally got a case from Losing Louie that holds both the copper and silver rounds, uh, plus that 10 ounce bar. So I've got the complete set there. And then here are a couple of um, Bitcoin rounds. This is the backside, and then, well, actually, I think that's the obverse, and this is the reverse. I'm not really sure. But, you know, showing technology today and with all the cryptocurrency and such. Uh, I picked up a couple of those. I gave gave some away as gifts, uh, but they were they were an interesting coin. I work in technology, so I like the circuit board effect. Um, then oh, uh, I'm, I'll get to the special pieces last. Here's a little bit of gold that I have splashed in quarter ounce Queen's Beast Red Dragon. Then I have a tenth ounce uh, quadruple nine gold maple leaf. And then in this little jar here, I've got a one ounce and, or not one ounce, one gram and half gram gold bar. Uh, and then uh, as far as another exotic metal, I've got a one gram palladium uh, bar. This was sent from uh, 
I cannot believe I just forgot her. It was right on the tip of my tongue. That's terrible. Laura Blade, of course, yes. Uh, and then in 50% silver, these came from Oxy88, and these are three pence coins with three different uh, patterns on them. You've seen these before. Uh, again, I don't know how to figure them into the stack for a, or for a dollar face amount, but they are silver, and they're part, of, and they were a gift. So, uh, thanks Oxy for those. Those are still here, and. Uh, and here's a dragon pendant. This is a 925, and I got it from uh, the Renaissance Fair when it was in town. I liked it. Uh, well, it's a dragon, of course I liked it. But then uh, we'll get into uh, the special pieces. And I do have more coming. They'll be in a future video. But here is that nine-something ounce dragon that Dixie Silver Miner poured me. Simply because I said during his live stream, hey, I really like that. Do that in copper, man. I would love that. It's yours, Slacker. And what? <laughs> and so he did. And it, along with the base that he, he made with it, it has Slacker Stacker in there. And he personalized the base for it. And that one's made out of copper and silver. So it, it's a mixture. Uh, I don't actually have the COA denoting the ratio of the, of the mix. But... Uh, Great piece. I mean, blew me away when he just said, "Oh, hey, it's yours." Yeah, the mi miner and Dixie Silver Girl are just just awesome people. Uh, really appreciate them. And then later, he really surprised me when I saw him pour some little dragons, and I was like, "Oh, I really, I'd really like to get a little little dragon." And uh, I was, uh, I was going to try to get a a silver version, you know, buy a silver version, and he said, "Oh, well." We'll, we'll set you up with one of the dragons, and you know I thought he was talking about one of the little little copper dragons. Instead, they absolutely floored me with this, and it's uh, Slacker's Thunder is what Dixie Silver Girl has named it, and uh, these four dragons made out of the four metals, copper, brass, nine two five, and triple nine, are all held together by a bronze shield. Uh, and then each intricate piece is fit in with little loops with two 925 swords that cross in the back. It's almost like a shield. Uh, and the lighting, I wish the lighting was better, but I'm trying to show the piece. But oh my gosh, that, that, this thing still blows me away. And I've seen it a, a thousand times since I've got it because I just love the thing, but it still just takes my breath away. I can't believe they did that for me. So, uh... Anyway, really, that's kind of the the copper versions, the uh, the the gold splash, and then of course the special pieces, and that's really the end of it, guys. I mean, that's the full stack review of part three. Uh, now you have seen some videos where I did add the the skull knuckles, so those have been added. Uh, I've got a trade coming in from uh, H.G. Scott's Kiwi that I'm looking forward to. Um, we'll see what that brings and then um, I've got two pieces coming in from Miner. They're on their way so that video will be coming out soon so please stay tuned for that. Uh, another couple of really cool pieces. I really like uh, the Miner's critters that he's been making so I'm gonna try to start collecting uh, a critter here and there and add those to the stack and uh, we'll see we'll see how, how far I can go with that. Uh, but that's it, guys. This is the, the end of part three, so thanks for watching. Please stack on. Stack on, my friends. Uh, Y'all take care.